Hello everybody, thank you for stopping by for this week's quick craft. Today we are going to be making barbed wire. Not to be confused with barbed wire, because if I knew how to craft barbed wire, I wouldn't be telling you. So, let's get started. So the barbed wire I'm making are for some wall segments that I had left over from my high throne build. And I had mentioned during that video that they looked kind of uh, post-apocalyptic to me. And I was going to go ahead and make some uh, barbed wire for them. So if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link at the end of the video. And also, um, if you checked out my sci-fi gate, which is going to be part of this build, I'll leave a link for that video as well, because the gate is done and complete. And then this is going to be the wall segments. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just chopping up some bamboo barbecue skewers to about two inches in length and I'm marking them off uh, an inch at a time and then I'll cut them at every two inch mark. And these are going to be my poles that I'll attach the barbed wire to. Um, the reason I'm using these bamboo skewers is that there's very little texture on them and just giving them a coat of Mod Podge will obscure any kind of wood grain or anything that you see and we'll be able to paint them as nice metal poles. Here I am just laying out my skewers now, kind of measure out how many poles I want in each section of wall. And I went with two, but if I come up to a gun embankment or a camera, I may have to adjust slightly, but I'm just gonna do that on the fly. With the wall laid down flat, I take one of the pointy ends of the barbecue skewers and poke a small hole in the top of the wall where I want the pole to go in. And I'm just eyeballing it, I'm not measuring it. I kind of am careful with my first one and then I just use that as a guide for all the others. I don't really care if it's a little bit off. Once I'm happy all the skewers are lined up and in position, I'll go ahead and remove all of them and then just put a little dot of tacky glue in each hole and then just uh, slowly push the skewer into the hole. Once I do that for all the wall segments, I'll go ahead let that glue dry thoroughly and give everything a coat with Mod Podge and black paint mixed together about 50-50. And then we're gonna be at about this point, we'll let that dry and then we'll move on. To make the wire for the fence, I'm gonna take some 26 gauge craft wire, lay out a nice long piece of it, snip it with my flush cutters, then fold it in half. From there, I'm gonna put one end into a drill and I'm gonna tighten the chuck on the drill until the wire is, is taut. And then I'm gonna hold the other end with a pair of needle nose pliers. And now I'm gonna slowly uh, press the button on the drill and have it spin very controlled and not very fast, keeping a close eye on the wire to see how tight I want it to be wound. When I'm happy with where the wire is at and how tight the coil on it is, I'll go ahead and remove it from the drill, snip off the ends, and then I'll go ahead and start attaching it to the poles. Now, when I attach it to the pole, the very first one I attach it to, I give myself some slack. I don't try to use the very end of the wire and wrap it around the pole. I'll give myself a good inch or two inches extra because I can just snip that little extra piece off and it's gonna make it much, much easier to wind it around the poles. Now I'll go from one pole to the other and I'll just wrap it around the pole one time and then move to the next pole. Once that's done, I can adjust the wire with a pair of needle nose pliers. And I found that the best way to do it is if you're gonna do multiple uh, strings of wire, go ahead and start with the bottom first and then work your way to the top of the pole. Once I have my wires in place and I'm happy with how they look, I'll go ahead with a little liquid super glue and I'll just put one little tiny dab on each pole where the wire is wrapped around it, and I'll do that for each and every pole. Once I do that, I'll just move on to my next piece and just keep going till I work through all of them. For the barbs, we're just gonna go ahead, take the same craft wire and start snipping off little tiny pieces, maybe uh, three or four millimeters in length. If it's a little bit longer because it's easier to handle, that's okay, because we can always trim it. And then we're just gonna put a little dab of gel super glue this time on the wire and then just use some tweezers and place the little piece of craft wire on top of the gel super glue. You wanna to try to keep the blobs of gel super glue as small as possible, 
but if you get them a little bit too big, it's okay because we'll just camouflage it as rust later on when we weather everything. This may seem like a long and tedious process, but it's really not. Cut up a whole bunch of little slivers of the wire at once, and then just take a whole section of wall, put all your little drops of super glue, and then just one at a time, just quickly place them. They don't have to be all in the exact same position, so just drop it on the super glue, and whatever way the little piece of wire falls, it's fine, it's gonna look great. Once that super glue is completely dried, you can take your flush cutters and trim the little pieces of wire if you want, if you feel they're too long, or you can just leave them as is. Once you've got them trimmed to your liking, go ahead and weather all the wires. You can either leave it unweathered if you want it to look like brand new barbed wire, or in my case, I'm doing more of a grim dark setting. So I went ahead and did a known oil wash on everything. I did a little uh, rise of rust on the barbs and on the wire. And then I went ahead and went over it with a little typhus corrosion. Well, that's going to do it, guys, for this quick craft. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like, please, and a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.